Drag Guy Shea here on Even Balance Up, you guys as well. So I just wanted to talk about quickly about this, um, some of the uh, umpiring uh, with regards to bad light and not so much rain, but yeah, more the bad light. Obviously we've lost, um, I'm not sure the total amount of overs in the uh, <clears throat> on in this this test match, uh, especially on days two and three. Um, there was a lot of clamour yesterday on day three, the fact that there should have really been cricket played. I mean, there was a warm-up game happening between Pakistan uh, intra-squad match, um, a white ball match that was played on the, the pitch, the adjacent pitch, uh, to GS ball that was happening whilst um, England and Pakistan are in the dressing room drinking cups of coffee and playing cards probably, um, while the game was actually going on. The bad light thing, I mean, listen, we obviously in England, as we all know, if you're, if you're from England, if you know English conditions well, we have shitty weather quite regularly. That's just the way this country is. That's the way it will always be. Um, talk, I've seen on social media some absolutely ridiculous comments. Like, um, they should know the, the weather forecast and should move the grounds accordingly. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. It's as simple as that. I mean, this is just dumb comments. How can you just move? How can you predict, a, you know, go on BBC, check the forecast. Oh, listen, guys, the forecast is going to be pretty bad in Southampton. Let's just go up to Yorkshire because it's all right there. Yes, yeah, so what happens to Yorkshire? Is not games now? Oh, you need to move. It's, you know, I just, some of the crap you read online, I don't know why it bothers sometimes. You know, you want to engage in a reasonable debate with some people and you, you get that, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of informed people out there. Um, there's also a lot of numpties, to be honest as well, um, who just talk absolute bollocks um, and don't have a clue really of how scheduling works. August, it's been boiling here and it's unfortunate that um, it's cooled down and it started raining again, but that's what happens after a heat wave, you generally get rain. That's geography. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, so it's unfortunate, but one thing we'll say regards to the bad light, yes, you obviously set up the presence with the first meeting you take um, during the match, and that's the present set. If it goes below that, you need to come off. Fair enough. But one solution I think could happen is that starting earlier, you know, should be kind of brought in uh, into play, I think. I mean, I, I don't know why we always talk, you know, we can go to 7 o'clock, go to 7 o'clock or 6.45. Why not start the game earlier? You know, these guys, you know, they, they don't have to... Um, start play at 11 o'clock they can start at 9 9 30 let's say 9 30 i remember in south africa they, they do that they you know years and gone by they've started earlier because obviously they don't have you know southern hemisphere they don't have um you know long days like we do like in durban for example it gets dark even in peak summer around seven o'clock um you know and it, it, it invariably gets dark around 5 five thirty over there um, Cape Town's different, you know, West, West, Western problems are different, but if you talk about, say, Joburg and Pretoria and Durban, they're similar in, in, their, um, in, their, in the amount of light they have during a day. So they start earlier. They have done a lot of times over the years, you know, start nine thirty. I think they start at 9.30. Why can't we just do that, just start earlier and finish at the same time? Um, and, you know, I mean, if you... I don't see that being a huge issue. You should trial that. I mean, I don't see that... The, the big issue is starting at 9.30, you know, rather than 11 o'clock to get a test match in. <clears throat> so that's the one thing I would do. I mean, the ideas of like chats about roofs and stuff like that, all nonsense, way too costly, never going to happen. Or I, I don't see it really ever happening anyway. Um, unless you can come up with some a much more cost-effective measure of getting a chats about roof into, into stadiums. Um, it, I, I just want rather than always start at the same time and then finish at seven, pushing it back, where if there's a poor forecast, you know, uh, been predicted, it's going to be dark, isn't it? So light's always going to be an issue. To start earlier, it just seems to be a no-brainer to me, but I don't know why we don't do anything more about it, be more proactive. I mean, I saw Hussein's comments, that's Hussein's comments on the fact that they're very slow going to get the covers on and, you know, to kind of make decisions and just lacking kind of any kind of real proactivity, you know, um, in trying to get the game on. And obviously a lot of money and time has been spent. And a lot of risk has been involved here. First and West Indies and now Pakistan to get over here um, and to play to play the game, you know, and it's to entertain us ultimately, isn't it? Us as us fans. You know, we you know we want to see the game being played. And I think more measures could be brought in to improve the situation. You know, so yeah, I, you know, I welcome anyone's thoughts. What, what do you guys think? You know, um, 
is my early morning start a bad idea? Is it feasible? You know, 9.30, is it too early? 10 o'clock? I don't see a problem with 9.30, even 9 o'clock. Why not? Why not? Get up at 6. What's the big deal? You know, you're staying in the hotel anyway. You're, you're right there. You know, you're staying in the hotel in the ground. Um, so, you know, adjacent to the premises. So why don't you just, to the ground, sorry. So why don't you just, you know, 6.30, get up, coffee, warm up, get ready for the game at 9.00. You know, said nine thirty latest, but yeah, it's my thoughts on it, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. Yeah, do comment, uh, share, uh, hopefully, so if you like the content, um, subscribe. Yeah, that'd be great, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, cheers.